So the cars lined up then on the grid. It's going to be a six lap final here for the Five Nations British Rallycross Supercars final. All of the action has led up until this point. So on the left hand side of your picture is Donnelly. In the middle is Godfrey. On the outside is Ollie O'Donovan. Six laps. The supercar final. And the pill. We get green and racing. Good start there from Godfrey. But Donnelly doesn't get away at all. Mark Donnelly is an absolute shocker. And he's not away at all. Robert Spittles goes into the Joker. As does the. Uh, 100 of Conor McCloskey there as well, but Martin Do uh, Mark Donnelly not getting away at all well in any way, shape or form. So it's Ollie O'Donovan who leads the way from Julian Godfrey. Tristan Upton trying to challenge Godfrey into the left hand of the Devil's Elbow, but it's Ollie O'Donovan with a clear track in front of him. Yeah, Julian Godfrey coming under in big pressure from Tristan Upton in the DS3. Derek Tobin was on the back of that four-car train as they go up through North Bend Airby. Plunge down Harry Hill for the first time of last year. Robert Spittles is the first of the drivers. To have taken the joker so far, the top four would all need to disappear into that longer route at some point. Yeah, they certainly will in towards there they go. Tristan Upton goes Joker then. He decides to get himself out of the traffic and tries to undercut the rest of the field as O'Donovan and Godfrey run very close, nose to tail with one another. There's a bit of a gap now between them and Derek Tobill, who inherits third position as a result of that. High and sideways there into the left-hander for Ollie O'Donovan. But is he going to be able to hold on to this lead when it comes to Joker time? Julian Godfrey would love to have a say about that, as would Tristan Upton on the back of Conor McCloskey, who's managed to get an overcut. Uh, other than as well, it were Joker. So let's see what is going to happen here as they come down the bottom of the hill. There in the front front of his shot is the 126. That is Robert Spittle, the uh, Latvian driver who, of course, is racing as a guest here this weekend. And drama for Godfrey by the looks of things. We can see from our commentary position. You can't see it on screen here as it stands. It's Ollie O'Donovan who leads the way that we're looking at. But uh, I can tell you that there is drama for Julian Godfrey. He has uh, retired by the looks of things for this race. Well, he's had a drama uh, on the uh, start finish line. Yeah, Derek Tobin coming under pressure now from Robert Spittles, the young Latvian who had drama in Q1, really struggling to get the car off the line. He is now outing Derek Tobin for second place. There's Julian Godfrey. He's out there on Pilgrims on the entry to the Joker lap. So the six-time champion starts his title fight in worst possible fashion. Like Mark Donnelly, he's in strife in the final as Vittles closes up on Derek Tobin. Ollie O'Donovan, the race leader, takes the joker. Nicely done there for Ollie O'Donovan, but where is he going to emerge when he comes through? Then let's see what's going to happen because it's going to be very close indeed. And side by side as Robert Spittles gets the overcut then and gets himself through on the number 126. So it's now Robert Spittles that uh, leads the way as things stand here at the 126 in the Citroen C4. This is unbelievable from Robert Spittles on his supercar debut. The Latvian teenager has the lead in the Citroen C4 up the hill. Tristan Underton and McCloskey are close, but Ollie O'Donovan is closing on the C4 through North Red Airbin. They certainly are, and Upton was actually able to get it himself ahead then uh, of the fourth uh, position then, so that could be a podium finish potentially here then for uh, Tristan Upton on his supercar debut. Let's see what's going to happen then as they come over the timing line to start the penultimate lap. Then it's Robert Spittles with the advantage as things stand. Ollie O'Donovan in second position. We watch from the drone shot as they come out of Jesson's Drift, down the Dover slope and in towards uh, the Devil's Elbow. A bit of bodywork being flicked up there from Ollie O'Donovan. Hopefully that's not going to cause him too much drama. But Robert Spittles in the Citroen C4. What an inspired drive this has been so far. Yeah, it is brilliant from Spittles. The Latvian Super 1600 champion, the British Super 1600 champion. Don't forget, this is a prize drive. It's just one weekend only. Get Spittles in a car full time. This is brilliant from the Latvian young youngster. He is charging away and leading the 2007 champion, Oli O'Donovan, as they flick through the chicane. Down onto the start there. Final lap of Lidl. Spittles has got one mile to go in the car that Sir Chris Hoy drove here last August. Can Vittles hold on? This is superb stuff from the Latvian. He leads the way, locking up into the devil's elbow, but great stuff from the 126 car. Yeah, fantastic driving there from Robert Vittles. As Dan said, a guest driver here as a result of winning that Super 1600 race. I think his uh, washer bottle's going there, but looks like some water being sprayed off from the top of his windscreen, but that won't be too much of a distraction. What would be is Bobby O'Donovan in the rear mirror, but there are only a handful of corners to go now. Robert Vittles leads the way through the final series of corners and goes over the timing line to take the win 
in the supercar final here for the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Ollie O'Donovan comes home in second position, and then it's Tristan Ovenden who finishes P3 in that race, but only by the skin of his teeth as well. You can see very close indeed, further behind, and uh, by the looks of things, some more problems there on the uh, final lap for another driver who has stopped uh, Pilgrims there. That looks like it was the number uh, 69 uh, from what we could see. And uh, sadly, he has not uh, made the finish. That was Mike Seller, who has not made the chequered flag. And uh, in fact, actually, Robert Vittles has stopped on the cooling down lap here. So one wonders if the lap race had been a lap longer, whether he'd have actually made the chequered flag.